Position words inside, outside, and on, under. River and flower are playing in the forest. Suddenly, flower stops playing and runs home angrily. Sun can see that flower is upset. Flower explains that river doesn't want to play the game correctly. They're supposed to throw darts inside the circle to win points. When they were playing, Flower threw her first dart inside the circle. But when it was River's turn, he threw the dart inside the rectangle, but outside the circle. And he insisted he had won the point. Flower tried to make him understand that they should only throw their darts inside the circle to win points. It didn't count if it was inside the rectangle, but outside the circle. But River didn't agree, so they argued. He doesn't see any difference. Their mom, son, wants them to be friends again. And she wants them to understand what we mean by inside and outside a shape or an object. She asks River to fetch the glass jar where he keeps his colored pebbles. There are five pebbles inside the jar. Sun picks a few of the pebbles and puts them outside the jar like this. Now there are one, two, three pebbles outside the jar and one, two pebbles inside the jar. What if Flower puts one of these pebbles back inside the jar? Now there are one, two, pebbles outside the jar and one, two, three inside the jar. So that's the difference between inside and outside. Whether it is inside or outside a jar, inside or outside a shape, or inside or outside your home. Sun asks River to put his jar back on the correct shelf. Sun shakes her head. River has put his jar under the shelf, not on the shelf. She asks him to do as he's told. On, not under. That's better. Sun asks Flower to count the jars on the shelf and under the shelf. Flower counts one, two, three jars on the shelf and one, two jars under the shelf. If River takes one jar from those on the shelf and puts it under the shelf, there are one, two jars on the shelf and one, two, three under the shelf. On and under. And we use the same words for numbers. On and under a line. On and under. Today we have learned what inside and outside mean. Something can be inside or outside another object, like the pebbles inside the jar. These are inside, these are outside. A number or something else can also be inside or outside a line, like River's darts. He threw them outside the circle, but inside the rectangle. We have also learned what we mean by on and under. These jars are on the shelf, and these jars are under the shelf. A number can be on a line or under a line. On, under, inside, outside. 
We use these words to describe the position of something or where something is. 